as I said, this act recognizes two types of, mainly two types of rights. One is individual right on individual land for cultivation and for habitation. And there is a condition that the land should be occupied before uh, 2005, December 2005. Another very important um, provision of this act is Gram Sabhas and people's rights on the forest resources. Uh, that includes rights on all minor forest resources, that is ownership, 100% ownership rights on all minor forest produces, including bamboo. Uh, and that is the first time the forest rights, because in the Indian Forest Act, bamboo was considered a tree. But in 2006, the Forest Rights Act considered bamboo as minor wow. forest produce and not trees. And so it gives 100% ownership rights of bamboo and other minor forest produces to the Gram Sabha and the people. Another uh, means other rights are uh, rights of uh, water, waterways, water produce, grazing, um, all sorts of uh, wow. these things. Uh, 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 means and uh, intellectual property rights also. But the most important right that is given in this act is uh, right to men uh, to use sustainably and to manage the, their forests. And not only that. People in the Gram Sabhas are interested to prepare a, a management plan of their forests. That would be and that should be included in the forest department's working plan. And I think that is the most important provision, pro, uh, right, recognizing this act. And so, what happened? That, as I said, uh, Gram Sabha was interested to initiate the process, to invite the claims, to uh, record the, the uh, claimants' evidences, uh, to verify them, to uh, go for a field verification and to write down whatever was there. Uh, and not means, and after all this verification, verification of the field and of the record, then they will have to come to a conclusion that whether he or she was cultivating this land or having means she he or she was uh, occupying this land for cultivation or for habitation before 2005 or not uh, and if yes how much then so in that sense gram sabha's task and gram sabha's responsibility was too much and is you know in tribal areas, most of the people are either semi-literate or many of them are illiterate. And so the it was a very big task, big responsibility on the heads of the Gram Sabha. Uh, there is a provision uh, in the act to, that the Gram Sabha would form a forest rights committee amongst from amongst the members of the Gram Sabha. And the Forest Rights Committee would carry out all this work on behalf of the Gram Sabha.